It's a understand shot selection. One of the great coaches we've ever had in the college game. All right, Coach, good luck to you. Not very often, Jerry, do you face a legend on the other end of the sidelines today, but you do. Give me your thoughts on Eddie Sutton. Well, you know, we started our career at the same time. And a lot of things that we've done parallel each other, and I've always had great respect for Eddie. He's just a great, great coach, and I know he's got a great game plan for us. We're not shooting the ball well. I hope it's not a shutout. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Bob? It won't be a shutout. We are rusty short of that. Opening tap goes to the Bulldogs. Noel Felix controlled it. And, of course, their big man in the middle. He's out high with the ball right now. Melvin Eli averaging 24 points and 10 rebounds a game. Travis Demanby with the feed down to Eli. What's OSU going to do to stop him? Well, they come up with an answer first time. And Ivan McFarland stayed home down low. Well, Bob, both clubs are really struggling. I'm saying really struggling shooting that ball from the perimeter right now. Both clubs below 30% in conference play from beyond that three-point line. Sanders with a jumper left side, and the ball sticks as Melvin, a 35% three-point shooter, could not knock it down. Frederick Johnzine in the middle for Oklahoma State. They, of course, are without Maurice Baker, their outstanding senior guard, averaging 16 a game. On the Toyota starting lineup for Fresno, it all revolves around Melvin Eli. They're a little better at the guard position with Chris Sandy now eligible since conference play began. Oklahoma State barely able to get it in. John Zian for McFarland. Tough angle and a good defensive stop there by Noel Felix of Fresno. Don't go there for Travis Demanby, their junior guard. And back come the Cowboys with Victor Williams. Uh, both ball clubs have one game this year on the defensive end of the floor. They rebound. They're awfully good on pressure in that ball and all the built-in help principles. Rims out on the long three-point attempt by Williams. Victor only shooting 23% from three-point range in conference play. Felix shoveling that ball to Eli. Melvin did not make his move toward the basket, and the pass got away. So if you're Oklahoma State, you feel okay. First minute 20 of the game, Melvin Eli has not scored. We're not going to have a shutout, are we? Well, for a few minutes we could. Jerry Tarkanian was exactly right. I mean, both clubs just really not in sync in any type of rhythm. Oklahoma State without Maurice Baker, their best offensive player. And Chris Jeffries, the second best offensive player for Fresno, not on the floor today. Chris Sandy with a three. He's averaging nine a game. He just became eligible. At conference play start in the WAC, and he's been a big addition, especially now with Chris Jeffries hurt. Jeffrey, one of their big inside guys at 6'8". Neat partner, and not able to play again today. Fresno's kind of gone in the tank without him, but Oklahoma State gives it up again. Chris Jeffries averaging 17 points, six rebounds a game. Eddie Sutton doesn't like what he sees. He's going to call a timeout two minutes in. How about this? Eddie Sutton's club has trailed every opponent they've played this year at some point in a ball game. Now, I saw the biggest deficit that they fought back from when they played at Arkansas right before Christmas. They were down 22 and came back and won that ball game in one of the most miraculous games I've seen all year. Could you talk about two guys right now, legendary, all the games they've won? That guy right there in the middle of that huddle, he's as full of competitive fire as he was when I played for him back in the 80s at Arkansas. He is still fired and ready to go, and so is Jerry Tarkanian on the other end. I remember watching him practice a couple of months ago, and lots of energy in Jerry Tarkanian still. A footnote on those 29-21 seasons of Tark. If he does it again, he will tie Dean Smith as the only coaches ever with 30 20 win seasons. Chris Sandy works the perimeter. Melvin Eli left block over Jean Zayn, and then a giveaway as the diagonal pass found Victor Williams and not a bulldog. Oklahoma State needs to get a score here before too much time goes by. Oklahoma State going to double up on Melvin Eli every time he touches it. They'll begin the game with a big on big double. Melvin Sanders, a miss from outside. Rebound, Eli, averaging 10 a game. He's at 10 double-doubles this year. Damon Jackson with a three at the other end. And Fresno State leads 6-0. That's what he was recruited for, Damon Jackson. He has struggled, makes about two a game, but has to shoot about six or seven from out there to knock those down. But he is a shooter, Bob. He's the kind of guy you don't let him get on track. You make him dribble into his shot. Play Juco ball for George Tarkanian, Sequoia, South, Car South California. And he is 
able to stroke it. So is Frederick Jean Zian. Big fella from Uppsala, Sweden, averaging 12 a game. And Oklahoma State finally gets on the board. Melvin Eli looking for Felix. Melvin knows the defense is going to double him every time out. So somebody has to be open, and he's gone to Felix twice in a row. Well, Felix is the guy. They're leaving Felix right now, Oklahoma State is, to double up on Eli. Rotating down a smaller guard. That time, Eli just threw the ball over the top of the help defender on the weak side. John Zian got a return pass from Shane Gatson and lost it. Chris Sandy runs the break. Left side to Manby. Off with the three and running for Oklahoma State, Victor Williams. Cowboys have numbers four on three. They'll wait for the secondary break. You know, shot selection for Oklahoma State is not the problem in their last four or five ball games. It's a club that understands time, score, and momentum, which determines a good shot. It's just the ability to knock down open looks and have the Cowboys struggling right now. Ivan McFarland stepped off the baseline, out of bounds. Terrence Crawford checks in for Oklahoma State. Watch the help come right now, and Eli catches that ball. See the other big rotate in. As a result, Felix is left on that weak side block with Victor Williams at 5'10", rotating down to take that pass away. Eli only has 19 assists in 18 ball games. Making pass it, he's not going to beat you as a passer from that low block. The man beats it. Eli, the turnaround, well short. John Zian with a good stop and the rebound. Frederick's going to be a busy man today at 6'10", a wiry 229. Oklahoma State 18-5 and five overall, number 12 in this week's basketball poll, which a new one will come out tomorrow. They've had some lumps lately, but still in pretty good position this point of the season, and this an important day for them. Rejection time. Eli stopping Andre Williams, and Fresno will get it going the other way. The under 16-minute timeout. Four and a half minutes in. Eli leads the way. Fresno State by six. So what do you play? Guitar sax. I play a bad guitar myself. Yeah. I mean bad in the bad sense. <laughs> How long do you enjoy it? You make a good living? Yeah. I do what I love. In the 43 countries. 43? You want to take next year off? Well, no, no, no. I know you, Bob. I know you're serious. Check this out. I'm going to lunch. Well, it's not like we didn't anticipate this. Listen, let me talk to your accountant about the tax implications. We'll go from there. The stock sector could have gone up or down hard. It was just too risky for you. Thanks for the heads up on that one. Sure. So how's your dad doing? Well, that's what I uh, really want to talk to you about. The gold standard turns platinum. The New York Times. Hands down, the car of the year. The Detroit News. The interior is near perfect. Business week. Hey, who are you calling near perfect? The 2002 Camry. Starting now, the future of long distance is unlimited. With the new AT&T Unlimited plan, you can make unlimited long distance calls from home to any of AT&T's 50 million residential long distance customers for only $19.95 a month. Make as many calls as you want. Talk as long as you want. Whenever you want. And it's just seven cents a minute to anyone else. The AT&T Unlimited plan. Only from AT&T Long Distance. Call 1-800-REACH-OUT. Basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by UBS Payne Weber because life is a continuing story. And Toyota, get the feeling. Oklahoma State, not good on the road so far. Four turnovers early, and the dogs lead it by six. Defensively, Fresno, they block a lot of shots, about six of the ball game. Watch Eli rotate over now, watch how quickly he jumps. He waits, and as soon as that offensive player leaves the ground, he's up and straight at look. 6'11", boom, I'll get you up top, and then he all the athletic enough to run it down and save it. He is really a handful. How about those numbers that he put up against Tulsa earlier this year? 35 points, 16 rebounds, 9 blocks. 
amazing. 67 blocks on the year. And that was number 340 of his career. Jump up. No. Noel Felix keeps it alive. And Scott Thornley says this one's going back the other way. If you're wondering about Melvin Eli's career blocks, 340, he will not catch the great Theo Ratliff of Wyoming for the all-time whack lead at 425. We're at Selland Arena, downtown Fresno. Bob Carpenter, Jimmy Dykes, a Sunday afternoon of college basketball on ABC, and a back iron shot from Victor Williams. Boys have started cold. Oklahoma State not shooting the ball well coming out of the first timeout. They're now one out of seven. The man be thought about the NBA three. Sandy has Victor Williams in front of him. Penetration, Damon Jackson. Well, I like the game plan for Fresno coming in, though. It's pretty much has been told, do not shoot the ball from the perimeter unless Melvin Eli touches it first. And then Demanby gets the rebound. That weak side board right now and weak side block is causing Oklahoma State a lot of problems on rebounds and on the passing ability from Eli to that weak side. Noel Felix walking from here to Sacramento on that play. And it'll go back to Oklahoma State as Jerry Tarkanian says, oh, I guess we ought to whistle that one down in practice. It doesn't count for real. Speaking of practice, Jimmy, we were talking about the Oklahoma State shooting. You and I go to a lot of practices. We hear coaches say, guys, game shots. Take game shots. The problem is for the Cowboys, they're not making them in practice either. No, I mean, they're the, they just when they break up to uh, the six different baskets in the gym, two to a basket, a lot more misses than makes right now in Gallagher Eye, but that's not a good thing. John Zian outside. Great rebound. Andre Williams. Eli got him from behind. Melvin Eli is a difference maker, not only in this level, but the next level. He's as athletic, as quick off his feet as anyone in the country at that five spot. Two blocks on the day. He'll probably adjust 15 before the day is done. Rough looking shot from the right side. Nothing there. For Noel Felix, and here come the Cowboys. John Zian back to Victor Williams. Crawford, oops. A little bounce pass that was closer to his sneakers than it was to his hands. And Oklahoma State turns it over again. Hiram Fuller checks in for Fresno. Well, look at that three-point shooting by Oklahoma State. The last five ball games, very difficult to win when you're shooting below 30% from any area on the floor. To watch Fresno State's amoeba matchup zone they start this ball game with, kind of confusing right now to the Cowboys. Amos Jackson way out there. His second three. Fresno comes out firing. They've shot 24% their last three games from the three-point line. Not so today. But Fresno zone defense is very active. Great pressure on the ball out of the zone look. You don't see that a lot of times. But Sandy really causing a lot of havoc out there up top. Jackson from Sandy. And the foul as he went leaning in. Looked like Terrence Crawford of Oklahoma State. Fresno State shooting 29% in conference play. Today they hit their first three trays. Well, they've gotten pretty good ball movement. Look, there's the shooter. Now, it doesn't matter what his numbers have been the past five or six ball games. The scouting report tells you he's in the lineup because of his ability to catch and shoot on you. You've got to be locked into a guy like that, Bob Carpenter, when he catches that ball, make him dribble into his shot. Antoine Broxy checks in for Oklahoma State. You saw Matt Mitchell, who just stepped in. Bulldogs probably lead the nation in headbands. Everybody taking the cue from Melvin Eli. That's eight early for Damon Jackson, who's averaging 10. And Fresno State all over Oklahoma State early. You cannot play catch around the perimeter against any zone defense, but especially one as active as Fresno. Jerry Tarkane's had one of the better zone defenses in the country in his 32 years of coaching, and he's got an active one going right now. Deflection, Damon Jackson. Victor Williams got back to get it. Now the Cowboys have a four on three. Now they give it away again. Jackson and getting caught on his back, Melvin Sanders. Fresno State, a little more energy, a little more active on the defensive end of the floor right now. They're winning in the passion category. Matt Mitchell for Fresno. Travis Demanby. They finally missed a three. Barely. Eli, left-hander, banks it in. His first basket. 
Bobby 15 just... to 2 Fresno and Oklahoma State coming up the floor Jimmy Dykes one out of nine so far Eli makes plays that you just can't coach I mean Oklahoma State did a pretty good job of boxing him off but he just got the thing up top on him and another turnover Eddie Sutton Club has more turnovers than assists in Big 12 play that's very uncharacteristic of an Eddie Sutton coach club Just careless with the basketball is the exact words he would use to describe his club. Eight minutes in, 13-point Fresno lead. Eli catches it, dumps it off. Matt Mitchell. They can't miss. Everybody's scoring. They've had five players score already. What does Oklahoma State come up with here? Look at the help by Demandy. Straight ahead, it's Chris Sandy, and he's run into from behind. It appeared to be Ivan McFarland. Well, Oklahoma State just shell shocked right now, trying to get anything done against that Fresno State defense. It's active, it's trapping on the sideline. You don't take the ball to the dead spot like Oklahoma State's done a couple of times. Melvin Eli on company. 11:30 in the morning start didn't affect these guys. They are on a roll. Down here, there's no pie chart to measure progress. The muscles are sore from the job, not the gym. The resumes are built one story at a time. And the company car actually works for a living. The Toyota Tundra, better from the ground up. Sleeping bag for his first sleepover, forty dollars. Backpack, eighteen dollars. Sorry about that. He couldn't sleep. Huh? Walkie talkies, twenty-five dollars. Going home, priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's Mastercard. Accepted for everything that makes home home. Here we go. I'm the bummer. I'm seeing hair here and hair there. So I started using Rogaine. Simple, safe, clinically proven to regrow hair. Look, nothing here, nothing here. It's all here. Rogaine, stronger than heredity. No, no, that's not yours. That's yours. Happy Valentine's Day. Make it a memory with jewelry from JCPenney. Save an extra $50 on this diamond heart pendant to $49.99. It's all inside. JCPenney. Sometimes the highly developed male will communicate via hand signals. We have the next game of billiards. Spot on. Would you care for another rolling rock? The rock would be splendid. You want to play double? Uh, yeah. Sure. Correction. Make that four rocks. Well played. I'm excited. Me too. Rolling rock beer. Grab a rock. ABC Sports goes strong to do. Jason Capono leads highly ranked UCLA against Arizona State. Or Louisville takes on Marquette Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. Well, a future Bulldog cheerleader enjoying this one, but the future is now for FSU. 17-2, Oklahoma State and the Sean Sutton alongside his dad. Cowboys one of nine. They've turned it over nine times. Anytime you have as many turnovers as field goal attempts in a ball game, you're struggling. Struggling to put it mildly at the moment. Travis Demanby on top for Melvin Eli. Leaving it for Matt Mitchell. Oklahoma State sitting in their zone, trying to get out to the wings a bit off it. First Mitchell possession. got away from Aaron Hill momentarily. First possession is zoned by the Cowboys. It's a 1 1 3 look designed to, again, four shots from the perimeter. Melvin Eli is still the guy that will beat you in the 40 minutes as it's fired. Sandy, long with the three. Who's going to get the rebound? Guess who? Melvin Eli. Did he travel? Shuffled his feet before he was able to explode off floor. They've got some good size in there at Eli, 6'10", 260. Hiram Fuller, 6'9", 240. Noel Felix, not in there at the moment. He's 6'9", 220. they got a pretty good Fresno skyline to throw at you. If they get any perimeter play, look out. 
John Zian had his shot adjusted. Frederick gets another and gets a foul. John Zian, all four of Oklahoma State's points. I'm sure Eddie Sutton that last time out talked about get the ball to the paint area against this zone. You can't continue to throw that thing around the perimeter. That time John Zian gets the miss, but quickness gets it right back in. Fresno State was chewing them up around those perimeter spots of that three-point line. You've got to drive that ball to the paint area, Bob, or, or pass it in there. You've got to get movement and screening. Five for Jean Zian. 17-5, Fresno State. They're already 40 seconds away for the midway point first half. Chris Sandy probes the perimeter with Victor Williams watching him. Bulldog's going to spread the floor here. Down to Eli. Got it away from John Zian. The jump hook. Kept alive. Wow, great work by Hiram Fuller. And finally, Aaron Hill of OSU. Even if they miss a shot, very difficult to get the rebound. Great feed. It was John Zian for Ivan McFarland and Jerry Tarkanian wants a timeout. Oklahoma State gets a bit of a turnaround the last couple of times down the floor. Well, a transition basket for Oklahoma State to try to keep away from that half-court zone that Fresno's thrown at him. That time, Jan Zin was a trailer. He caught it and attacked, and as soon as Eli stepped up, boom, right there, drop it off to that baseline. You never want to step up as a, as a defender. Stepping up the floor just creates an opportunity for someone around that bucket, and Oklahoma State read it and got the thing down. We've got a bunch of college basketball for you. Basketball for you next Saturday on ABC. At 1 Eastern, some of you get Georgia Tech and St. Louis. Jimmy and I will be there for that one. Some of you get UMass Temple. Then at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, Arizona State against number 18 UCLA or Louisville Marquette in Conference USA. On the West Coast, our doubleheader concludes Arizona, USC, right here on ABC. Check your local listings for the games in your area. And between now and then, you can log on to ESPN.com for college basketball. Keyword, ABC Sports. Melvin Eli gets the foul call. His favorite spot on the floor, Melvin Eli, Bob, is on that left block if you're facing the goal. And that's where he's caught that ball probably nine out of the ten touches he's had. And when once he catches it there, he's a, he's a left shoulder guy. That's his first look. So you've got to start taking that away and making him doing something coming back towards the baseline from that side of the floor. Yeah, I'm thinking, now, Frederick John Z and Jimmy, is he tempted to overplay the one side, or does he have to totally depend on his help defense? Well, that's where the help defense should be coming from. It's just not coming quick enough. But it's difficult to double this guy, Bob, because he's got great feet. He's got as good a feet as far as quickness-wise as anyone I've seen in the last 10 years on the college level at that low block. He's got the feet of a guard. By the way, you saw the graphic on Melvin Eli. If he becomes Fresno's all-time leading scorer today, he needs 11 more to do it. They will stop the game and present him with a game ball. A miss by Sanders, and then Frederick John Z, and bodies flying around him, travels. And Oklahoma State turns it over again. Ten turnovers in 10 minutes and 20 seconds of this game. Shane Gadsden is back for OSU. Terrence Crawford in there with John Zian, McFarland, and Victor Williams. They really miss Maurice Baker. He's the one kid that Eddie Sutton has that can go get his own look against any type of defense. So as a result, they're going to have to manufacture all their stuff today. Now see, there's Eli having to go toward the baseline. And he missed it. Hiram Fuller with a very makeable shot. Oklahoma State gets a little lucky there. Victor Williams can't knock it home. Gets it back, spins it in. They need Victor to do some scoring with Maurice Baker out. Everybody talking about what a great backboard OSU had, but when Maurice went out, Victor hasn't been able to compensate for the loss. Not that many could in his defense. Well, plus he's playing that point guard spot, so now he's having to be a scorer and run the club. Damon Jackson, I'm telling you, is a guy right now that you do not let him catch and shoot. He just needs a little bit of an opening. That's why he was recruited here. He's got three of them. Deflected by Eli. Chris Sandy up with it. He'll pull it up. Bank it and miss. Rebound Terrence Crawford of Oklahoma State. Shane Gadsden getting it back from Victor Williams. John Z in the trailer. He's got range out there. And a good tip by Crawford keeps it alive. Gadsden on the wing for Victor Williams. Gadsden. Boy, they're not even coming close, are they? 
turns into a pass as Ivan McFarland puts it away on the back door. You can tell with the Cowboys, their shooting is sort of a mental problem as well right now. How about that? And they're only down 11 with as poorly as they've shot the ball and all the turnovers. Hey, it was 17 to 2. They're on a 9 to 5 mini run here. There's Eli, hard to the glass, and he got fouled from behind. Well, I've talked about kids before that are a handful and then some that are two hands full, and that's exactly what he is. I mean, you can take away his strength move, which is left block towards the middle, but he still understands how to score. What you catch, you take away the strength move. Okay, I still got the quickness to go baseline on you. He's got all the stuff, Bob, the up and under, the little turnaround jump shot, the jump hook. And he's uh, for this level, he's got low block position. He's probably the best scorer that there is as far as what he can do and any ways he can hurt you. And a pretty good free throw shooter at 77%. By the way, that was foul number three on Ivan McFarland, the Oklahoma State sophomore. So he'll have to sit probably the rest of the half. Melvin Eli has been uh, that one and a half defender to two defenders on him the entire season, especially in conference play. So as a result, he's been getting a little bit worn down. He'll take some possessions off, but when this guy's rested and at his best, he is the best. The under eight minute timeout, and he set his team slow start. Better lately, but down by 12. So, uh, how's your dad doing? That's what uh, I really wanted to talk to you about. I think that we're going to have to bring him up here and find a care facility for him. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. You know the money's there. We should be able to find a really nice place. I hate Hello? Hey, Dad. Yeah, we're meeting Mike over at Payne Weber this afternoon. Talk about our business plan. You're going to be there, right? You drove all that way to save 50 bucks on new tires, did you? Hey, Dad, you know, you could afford to buy a whole new car. It's not on the lake, but it's close. Oh, it's a beautiful house. Of course, they can't afford it. They just got married. Well, Tom and I would like to help them out. I was just looking at our account. So, Ben, what's getting the most fun at this year's Tech Expo? Well, sir, everyone is still talking about the mobile internet. The really great usable stuff is still here. At BASF, we don't make the mattress, we make it softer. We don't make the boots, we make them drier. We don't make the cars, we make it more colorful. We don't make the snowboard, we make it stronger. At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy, we make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF. Are you tough enough to drive a Tacoma? John Saunders here in the studio with the Wide World of Sports Speed Pass update. NC State against Florida State. Big day for the Wolfpack. Julius Hodge fouled out with just six points, but not before he dropped those two in. 63-55 with just under two to go. NC State doing some damage lately in the ACC. This is Fresno, California. Bob Carpenter, Jimmy Dykes. We've got the Big 12 getting together with the WAC today, and it's been all WAC and Fresno, 23-11 so far. Cowboys have five points from Frederick John Zian, four from Ivan McFarland, but he's on the bench with three fouls. Antoine Broxy the catch there. I guess somehow that ball's got to get attacked to the rim. There it is, a little high-low against the zone. Andre Williams had a nice little handoff from Antoine Broxy. Broxy had his back to the basket. Now, Melvin Eli is not in there right now. They've got Mustafa El Saeed in there at 6'9", 225. This team's got four players, 6'8", or taller. And 
then they've got Noel Felix working on the right block. Here's El Saeed. Bad looking effort. And the loose ball for Victor Williams. If you're Oklahoma State, you hope maybe you can chop off four or five points off this deficit while Melvin Eli sits. Away from the ball, Mustafa El Saeed with the foul. Next Sunday, ABC Sports returns for regional college hoops. Number 17, Syracuse and Notre Dame. Texas battles Kareem Rush and Missouri. That's next Sunday live at 3.30 Eastern on ABC. A foul before the ball ever got in, and this one's on Noel Felix. It's obvious with Melvin Eli on the bench, this is a totally different Bulldog team. Boy, to totally different looking, and uh, they're just not the same on either end of the floor because Eli is a tremendous shot blocker, and he's also a guy that knows when to help and when not to help. I mean, he's, a, he's kind of a fixer-upper around that rim area. I didn't think he'd sit long. You know, when you think about Melvin Eli over 40 minutes, Jimmy, the points, the, the rebounds, 24 and 10, his averages, the blocks, but then you consider the shots he adjusts, the fouls he causes on other people. Yep. I mean, he really influences the game more than anybody that will be out there today. And the adjustment that he makes you make before the game ever begins just in your strategy and your game plan. Yeah, he's also remember. in your head on every possession. Yeah, well, you got to remember, he was the number one five-man in uh, 1997 coming out of high school in that senior class. So the ability's always been there. Cowboys got a sink. Jackson to the glass. He got under scooping while he was coming back wow. down and didn't get a good shot. Talk about a million-dollar move and a nickel shot. That was it right there. <laughs> Gadsden, Sanders, Williams. Cowboys having a hard time making three or so passes against this very aggressive matchup zone of Fresno. Williams for Sanders. Big shot of it goes down. Melvin knocking that one down, and it's 23-16. Boy, good ball movement that time. Good people movement by the Cowboys. Penetrated that red part of the floor a couple of times and kicked it out to a shooter. Eli, long. Rebound, Andre Williams. And Oklahoma State, after being down 17-2, could make it a five or a four-point game here. I don't think we're the only two guys that have seen the uh, difference in Eli turning to his right and going to the baseline as opposed to coming to the middle. Oklahoma State now giving him the only option to go that way, and Sanders knocks down another one. Melvin Sanders, 35% beyond the arc. Two in a row and the Cowboys are back to within four. We knew we were better or they were better than what we saw early. Yeah, we knew we weren't. We knew you and I were at the heights of our broadcast in the beginning. <laughs> Long shot. Noel Felix. Cowboys. Bulldogs not getting back, but Andre Williams can't finish it off. Now a two on three. Chris Sandy. Better go in. Nobody to rebound. And he knocks down the deuce. 25-19, Fresno. Bulldogs are 14-10 and 10 overall. They've lost four in a row, all in their league. They are tied for fifth in the WAC right now. That's hard to believe. Yeah, when they were the unanimous choice to win the thing this year going in. you got to look at a club like Fresno and Illinois right now. Two teams at uh, St. Joseph's. I'll throw them in there. Began the year with everyone on their bandwagon, and they have... Just not quite gotten it done. You know, no one thought Fresno State would be at that no. point. Hawaii has beaten in Tulsa in Tulsa. So on a tiebreaker, they would have the conference championship right now. Hawaii won the WAC championship at the Reynolds Center on that TU campus last year. Eli, if he caught it, he would have flushed it. But it was a little too tall for his fingertips. Oh, that Hawaii club is good. They've got the, the loss hung on them yesterday at Louisiana Tech because that's a really athletic club. But Hawaii with Pedrock Savovich, and they got an inside guy named Shimanovich that can really be a force at times. It's also a team that has played well on the mainland this year. They've always been tough on the islands, but they about 19 20 wins right now. Aaron Hill. Shot fake, left side, John C. Not bought, still only at 15. Cowboys have plenty of time here. John C. forcing his way in, rejected but fouled. And on that flight, back to Oklahoma tonight, they're going to give Frederick Johnson a seat where he can stretch out, give him one of those little neck pillows to wrap around him, because he will be dead by the time this thing is over, battling the Fresno State big men. You know what, though, he's done a nice job the last four or five minutes of not fighting pressure with pressure against the zone. He's kind of reading to see where the openings are. He's 
flashing from behind the defenders, which is a huge key against any zone defense. You have to have these big guys start off on the baseline, Bob, behind the defenders, and then flash from where their vision is not, and that's exactly what the team's doing right now for the Cowboys. Frederick has six, so does Melvin Sanders. And the bottom line here, the Cowboys have come back, and they're right in the game four minutes before halftime. It was looking ugly about ten minutes ago. So they have gathered themselves nicely here on the road. The man be leaving it for Matt Mitchell. Williams stops in. Right back to Mitchell, looking to penetrate. Victor Williams got the ball out of there, but it finds Eli. He goes to the rack. Roxy blocks him, but John Zian fouled him before that happened. And for Frederick, John Zian is first. Out of control. Oh, wait a minute. Is this one going the other way against Eli? Yeah, that's a charge from the get-go. Eli out of control and floated at the end of his shot and went right over the top of that Oklahoma State defender. Talks it over with Bill Kennedy. Another look. Hey, folks, you beat the baseline official. Did they get set? Looks like John Zian might have, and that's two on Eli. Around here, there's no pie chart to measure progress. The muscles are sore from the job, not the gym. The resumes are built one story at a time. And the company car actually works for a living. The Toyota Tundra, better from the ground up. What is that? Uh, curling, an ancient Scottish ice sport, played with a 42-pound stone. Want expert answers whenever you need them? Come to Office Depot, where our people listen, understand, and help. How can I have fewer office machines? You can maximize space with an olive It'd be nice if everything was like that. Office Depot, what you need, what you need to know. Proud sponsor of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. You like simple, better than complicated. You like quick, better than slow. You like easy, better than hard. So now pay with SpeedPad at both Mobile and Exxon. It's fast, it's free, and it links to a check card or major credit card you already have. Call toll-free or visit SpeedPass.com. We're drivers, too. You should read this. One of the U.S. bobsledders pulled a muscle. Looks like they'll need a sub. I must go. Any excuse is a good excuse to get to McDonald's for the all-new chicken breast parmesan sandwich. Juicy, all-white meat chicken smothered with tangy marinara sauce topped with melty mozzarella. Getting hungry? Hurry in. So where's the metal? The irresistible new chicken breast parmesan sandwich. Now on McDonald's new taste menu. McDonald's, a worldwide Olympic partner. If you're a double agent taken hostage, what's more important? Does me your cover or your life? A new alias, ABC Tonight, 9, 8 Central. Two fouls on Melvin Eli, and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State back to within five. Well, that's a look at this week's top 25, and it'll change a little bit tomorrow, but the Pac-10 with five schools leads the charge, the Big 12 with four, SEC, ACC. You know, there's a lot of folks around the country, and I'm one of them that agrees that... Uh, the ACC and the Big 12 might have the final four standing between Duke, Maryland, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Those four clubs defend, and those four clubs all have offense. That's what Kelvin Sampson's clubs in the Big 12 right now race because of the defense. And Kansas, they run the floor. Their transition game is the best in the country. I was impressed with Dukes a couple of weeks ago at North Carolina. They don't run any better than Kansas. And the Jayhawks hitting on all cylinders right now. No doubt about who's on a level of their own in the Big 12. But Oklahoma would be right behind the Jayhawks. Off the Fresno miss, here come the Cowboys. In their half-court offense, Aaron Hill on the left wing. High post, John Zian. Back into the hands of Victor Williams. Just over three minutes before halftime. OSU in a pretty good spot here. Would have been a lot sweeter had that one gone down. Andre Williams had it. Sanders for Victor, Aaron Hill outside, short, and the rebound, Noel Felix of Fresno. Demanby, left side, way long. Jerry Tarkanian rolling the dice here a little bit with Melvin Eli. 
playing with two fouls, hoping he doesn't get that third here in the last three minutes. Boy, DeMann, he's a kid that was one of the top uh, three-point shooters in the league last year, about 40%. He's really struggled because he began the year at that point guard spot, just hasn't got his stroke back yet when they're moving back to the two. Get 39 of his 95 three-point attempts last year. And, and that's not that bad to play 14 minutes a game. Yeah. Look at Eli get tied up. Andre Williams, the one cowboy who physically can deal with him down there. Andre gives up a little bit of height, but he's got all the strength you need. Defending Eli is a great example of if you're the help defender, physically you're in one spot on the floor, but mentally at all times you're thinking ahead to my guy Eli catching the ball. And that time Oklahoma State rotated over a little bit quicker. But you cannot, you cannot wait till he catches that ball to move. You better move on the air time of that basketball. 2-10 to go. Williams for John Zian. Fred putting it on the floor, and another Oklahoma State turnover. Incredibly, they're down by five. They've given the ball away 16 times. Eli, the turnaround to the baseline, and he still hasn't scored from over there. I'm going to put one of those traffic signs up there that says, no left turn. <laughs> he, you know, he's a catch-and-shoot guy. Make him go to the right. <laughs> Most of the time, you talk about a guard being a catch-and-shoot guy, but... That's what Melvin Eli is again. He's not only even averaging one assist per game. Some battles in the Big East, part of our menu on the Office Depot halftime report. John Saunders and Digger Phelps. They'll also check in on the Buckeyes and the Spartans in the Big Ten and the Seminoles and the Wolfpack in the ACC. Sandy faked the pass. Melvin Sanders bit on it. And Chris Sandy with seven on the day. Fresno State by seven. Final 90 seconds of the first half. Crowd back into it here at Selland Arena. An old building downtown that seats just over 10,000. Victor Williams can't get the pull-up. Another turnover, or is it? Loose ball. Scott Thornley and Eddie Jackson in there. Fresno State got the timeout, and you got to have the ball to get a timeout. The hustle plays have gone in favor of the guys in white uniforms so far in this one. Look, there it is. Oklahoma State has it. Nope, no, we don't. Jump in on top of it, secure it, and call timeout. And they've played with just a little bit more quickness in their step. I'm talking about the Bulldogs. And there's that Big 12 standing we talked about earlier. Kansas is threat to run away with that thing. Oklahoma State setting down there in the fifth position. Texas Tech just can't win on the road. They've been awfully close, though. It's always the debate that starts about this time of the year. Can you get into the NCAA tournament when you're from a power conference and you have a break-even record? I think you can if you're in that Big 12 this year because of how strong that league is. I am not in favor of any league having enough team get in if they finish below 500, like a 7-9 and nine that we've seen sometimes in the past from the SEC or the, the Big 10. I don't think any conference is that strong. Eddie Sutton right now is targeted towards getting to that 8-8 eight eight mark, I think, in the next couple of three weeks. Melvin Eli sits. Probably a good move by Tarkanian. It would be tragic for them to get him with a third foul in the last minute. Noel Felix can't roll it in. Hiram Fuller over the top, but a clean rebound for OSU's Frederick Johnson. Jansen handles it on the perimeter. Gets it back from Melvin Sanders. A high pick by John Zian. Who's open? Aaron Hill, left wing. Takes the shot. Off to the right. Andre Williams had the rebound. Knocked away from him momentarily. Melvin Sanders gets the follow. And the Cowboys back to within five. And now no matter what happens, Jimmy, they got to figure they had a pretty good second half of the first half. Boy, didn't they, though? And I tell you what, why they've had a good second half of the first half. They've gotten work done on the offensive boards. That and some transition buckets and some trips to the free throw stripe is exactly how you offset a poor shooting afternoon or a poor shooting season to what Oklahoma State's suffering through right now. Final five seconds. Chris Sandy handles it. Getting a shot. Ooh, it rattles out on him. And that keeps Oklahoma State pretty close. Melvin Eli only five points in the first half with a couple of fouls. And Oklahoma State with a pretty good run, getting back to within five at the half. After 20 minutes, Bulldogs 27, Cowboys 22. 
NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. We'll be back with the Office Depot halftime report after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And she lands the triple one. What the hell is that? It was named for Lois Lutz, an obscure Austrian skater from the early 1900s. Hmm. Want expert answers whenever you need them? Come to Office Depot, where our people listen, understand, and help. How can I have fewer office machines? You can maximize space with an all of them. It'd be nice if everything was like that. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. Proud sponsor of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. Let me tell There are 441 tax law changes. One provision could affect how much you pay. Is it on page 17 or page 17,000? No one understands the tax law changes better than H&R Block. If you're not satisfied, you don't pay. Let's have a listen. That's got to be the puppy chow. Vets have been recommending puppy chow for years. There's no better way to get him off to a strong and healthy start. Purina Puppy Chow brand. Some puppies' needs are different than others. That's why there's puppy chow large breed formula to help big dogs develop strong bones and joints. ABC Valentine's Wednesday. Ah, the romance of a daughter's first date. Too bad Damon isn't here to see it. Where? Oh, my God. Hey, Damon, it's a double date. A romantic new my wife and kids. Good. Then what do you give the man who's got everything? How about sexy boudoir photos? A sexy new according to Jim. After my wife and kids, ABC Valentine's Wednesday. ABC Sports goes strong to the hoop. It's a Big East battle when Syracuse faces Notre Dame. All in the Big 12 to takes on Missouri next Sunday at 3.30 Eastern. Over the last 25 years, your locally owned Honda dealer has sold more Hondas than any other area dealer. The only full-line Honda dealer in the valley. Clawson Honda. Great service and great people. Clawson sales and service family have over 50 years total experience. This is a great time to make a deal on the car of your choice with new deliveries every week. Clawson Honda. The original right from the start. So, with this basic satellite plan, we have to share a receiver? Yeah. Well, look on the bright side, ma'am. While your husband's watching sports in the den, you'll have sports in your room, you'll have sports in the kids' room, and you'll have sports right here in the kitchen. It'll be like a sports bar. With satellite, additional TVs are a problem. Different channels on different TVs at the same time. No extra equipment to buy. Problem solved. Digital cable from AT&T Broadband. We can put a pool table in there, some neon beer signs. Ooh, hot wings. KFSN DT, now broadcasting in high-definition television. This is the Office Depot Halftime Report. Here now, John Saunders and Digger Phelps. Just a five-point game at halftime and a total of 49 points as Fresno State leads Oklahoma State 27-22. to Jerry Tarkanian, of course, the running Rebs, and when he first got to Fresno State, he liked to run as well. This is not the type of game he likes to be in. Well, he blew it out 17-2. to Next thing you know, Oklahoma State comes back without Maurice Baker. Sprained his ankle. Eddie Sutton saving him for the game against Oklahoma this week. So right now it's question mark for Fresno trying to win this game. All right, second half still to come, but right now let's get to some scores and highlights. Pitt looking for the first time since 1986-87, gaining a sweep against Syracuse, and they were out and running to do it. Ontario left with the steals all the way, jams it down. So the two-point lead at that point for Syracuse. Then it becomes nighttime any night. Brandon Knight hits the big three. This is that 18-3 run the second half when they're down to get the one-point lead, and that was the difference in the game the second half. Julie Page buries a three from the corner. The lead was seven. Then Brown to Troutman. Troutman slams it down. Pitt goes on to win 75 to 63. The first sweep 
I'm Syracuse since 86-87, although Cuse will point out that they went to the Final Four that year. Well, Syracuse has now lost five of the last seven. Their next game's against Notre Dame next Sunday on ABC. They've got to get their game back together and win these close games. So stay in the Big East, Miami and Boston College. Troy Bell drives, misses. Brian Sidney grabs it, leans, floater drops down, tended to run to start the game, and then long distance. Long distance, we look at this guy, Marcus. Barnes hits the three, but that's about it for them on offense because now it becomes a blowout. They stuck on 15. BC gets the transition game. Look down the floor. Anybody, Sydney, Bell, turn it up. Get it done. 23 to 15 at that point. Miami's closed it a bit. But right now, Boston College completing 34 to 23. Ohio State and Michigan State. You think Michigan State has it back going again? Absolutely. Forget that Marcus Taylor didn't play me, and I had that little concussion at Northwestern where they lost. This team is hot. 64-67. Their next game is against Illinois. Michigan State's in the run. Ballinger with a double-double. NC State needs this one against Florida State. Eftemoff with the fine to Shrell. He gets it, and NC State has a 47-31 lead. Then Dixon gets the ball. In in the corner, he buries his three. NC State, again, could not afford to let this Florida State stay in this game. No, when you need to, get it to Anthony Grundy. 13 points in this game. Well, balance attack for NC State. They are now 7-4 and four in the conference. By themselves in fourth place, looks like they're going to get an NCAA bid. Florida State, 2-7 and seven since beating the number one team in the nation, Duke. The Bulldogs lead the Cowboys by five. From Tech Expo, this is Sarah Brunel. And clear. So this mobile internet. What companies are making that happen? So Sarah, listen, I emailed your analyst reports in those companies, but I gotta tell you, based on your long-term goals, you're already overweighted in stocks. Boston. Well, that is great. Boston. I guess I just didn't think you were in the school being 3,000 miles away. You know, the zero coupon bonds we got you into will more than cover costs. It's not going to be easy having her so far away, is it? Hey, Jim. Right now. Breaking up. Please. <laughs> <laughs> You can dunk, but you can't dip. Your dip is gone, babe. What are you talking about? No dip. Introducing new Tostito Scoops. Let me tell you something, Bill. I put the hip in the chip. Watch this. With the bite-sized, bowl-shaped design for the perfect dip every time. New Tostito Scoops. Whoa. The dip lover's chip. <laughs> this is my house. Yes, it is. No, this is house. You guys got to go. <laughs> also great with new Queso Supreme Dip. It's been said, men tend to communicate shoulder to shoulder. If that's the case, these guys are saying, let's change the world. Let's make a difference. Let's act as we are called. The Knights of Columbus, in service to one, in service to all. At six foot nine, Magic Johnson was the tallest point guard in league history, so it was easy for him to look over the head's defenders and find his man. A guy like that could dish out a lot of assists, 10,141 to be exact. Hey, nothing beats an original. Original Coors, brewed with Rocky Mountain water. Original Coors, nothing beats a tall one. <laughs> ABC Tonight, starting 9, 8 central. The one night where two of television's best dramas are all new. I want you to kill me. Quentin Tarantino with a new alias, Bev. 10, 9 central. The brutal attack. Now the hard-stopping fallout. A new practice after a new alias. Tonight, starting 9, 8 central on ABC. Hola, Pablo. Win Golf Championships. Accenture Match Play Championship February 23rd on ABC. This is the Office Depot Halftime Report. 
Well, it's amazing when you can turn the ball over 18 times in the first half and trail by just five. Fresno State 27, Oklahoma State 22. Here at Selland Arena in downtown Fresno, Bob Carpenter back table side. And it's interesting that the Bulldogs started off 17 to 2 as Oklahoma State had a rash of turnovers and only hit their first nine, one of their first nine shots of the day. Melvin Eli needing 15 points to become their leading scorer all time. He hits one out of eight shots in the first half on the bench with two fouls as the first half came to a close. So some interesting numbers, and if you're Oklahoma State, you're very fortunate to still be in this basketball game, turning it over 18 times. Bulldogs by five at the half. We've got second half action from Fresno coming up. It's the Big 12 and the WAC matching up today. This has been the Office Depot Halftime Report. Brought to you by Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. We'll be back with the second half after this message and a word from our ABC stations. What is that? What is that? Curling, the ancient Scottish race sport, played with a 42 pound stone. For a lot of expert answers whenever you need them, come to Office Depot, where our people listen, understand, and help. How can I have fewer office machines? You can maximize space with an all of them. It'd be nice if everything was like that. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. Proud sponsor of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. I feel good. Who am I playing? John McEnroe. Oh, man. Hey, Mike. Hey, you're going to take it easy on me, right? Uh, no. I'll give you a buck. What can you do with a buck? You can dial 10, 10, 2, 20. All calls up to 20 minutes for 99 cents. Really? And 7 cents a minute after 20. 20 minutes for 99 cents? Is that a good deal? What? You can't be serious. It's a great deal. I like this guy. We got this one. Dial 10, 10, 2, 20. Valentine's Wednesday. I'm Marlo Kelly. Drew has found the Valentine of his life. She's a cop, played by Jenny McCarthy. If you haven't seen a make it yet, save a bullet for yourself. But she's got a fatal attraction on a new Drew Carroll. Hey! You're the one that should be? Oh, my new episode of The Job, Valentine's Wednesday on ABC. ABC Sports goes strong to do. Jason Capono leads highly ranked UCLA against Arizona State. Or Louisville takes on Marquette. Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. Chickens have breasts, wings, and thighs. But no one has ever found the nuggets on a chicken. It's not there either. Introducing chicken breast strips from Carl's Jr. Because chickens don't have nuggets. doesn't taste this good in New York. You uh, up here on vacation? No. Lunch. Introducing the 260 horsepower Acura TL Type S. So with this basic satellite plan, we have to share a receiver? Yeah. Well, look on the bright side, ma'am. While your husband's watching sports in the den, you'll have sports in your room, you'll have sports in the kids' room, and you'll have sports right here in the kitchen. It'll be like a sports bar. With satellite, additional TVs are a problem. Different channels on different TVs at the same time. No extra equipment to buy. Problem solved. Digital cable from AT&T Broadband. We can put a pool table in there, some neon beer signs. Ooh, hot wings. Angelo Stallis and the AccuWeather Forecast. Weeknights on Action News. Twenty-seven, twenty-two, Fresno State at the half. Bob Carpenter back with Jimmy Dykes. Eddie Sutton joins a long line of coaches who don't mind five points and five rebounds at the half by Melvin Eli. Then a nice adjustment on him, I think, from about the 15-minute uh, mark on as far as rotating quickly to him, making him go to the baseline a little more often than come to the middle. 
because I'm telling you why, he's a guy, Bob, that can get 20 points on you in a half if you don't defend it with consistency. He's a kid that was, he was awfully active early, and that might be a plan that maybe get worn down not only throughout the year, but throughout a ball game because he started missing a few, and again, a lot of it had to be with Oklahoma State. You see him rotate in when he put the ball on the floor and drew the charge, and then through the help defenders come quicker. It needs to come probably a step quicker than it did, but at least they made the adjustment from the first five minutes because Oklahoma State, when they came out of the locker room, they were shell shocked, and that zone defense of Fresno really had them covered like a blanket. I'm not sure I've ever seen a team turn the ball over 18 times and be five points down yeah. at the half. There's the turnover story on our mobile first half statistics. And it's interesting because the field goal makes end up being the same. Oklahoma State, 9 of 27. Fresno State, 9 of 32. The Cowboys hit only one of their first nine shots. Yeah, how about that? Look at that three-point shooting. Again, both clubs came into the ball games. It was not a surprise. Both of them shooting 30% below from uh, three-point line in conference play. Turnovers for Oklahoma State were a problem early. They stayed in this ball game though with a 27 to 13 advantage on the board. That's the one big area that you can make up for poor shooting is to get more more attempts. Melvin Eli, eight field goal attempts in the first half. He makes one of those. He does go three out of four from the line. Dishes off three assists. And Jerry Tarkanian decided not to play him in the latter stages of the first half because of the two fouls. Eddie Sutton, one of the great teachers in the game. You know, everybody talks over the years about how he's the only coach who's ever taken four schools, Creighton, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Oklahoma State, to the NCAA tournament. He added another distinction onto his impressive resume this year, two schools with more than 250 wins. He had 260 in 11 years with the Razorbacks, and now 267 in his 12th year in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And, and Jimmy, you and I haven't talked about it today, but still, the emotional scars that exist on this program because of the tragic plane accident last year, none of us will ever realize what these guys have been through, and it's more than a year later now. No, not at all, but I think they've done an outstanding job of putting it behind them the best they can. And uh, I'll always remember the morning after the incident that I called Eddie Sutton his house and spoke with him for about five minutes. And it changed his life forever. It's changed, obviously, a lot of old life forever in the basketball community. You can't find an assistant coach or a head coach at any institution that somewhere they didn't have ties back to that program through a close friend or a friend of a friend. Well, they've weathered a great deal. Jimmy Dykes played for Eddie at the University of Arkansas. You coached with him at Kentucky, and you had a, a year in Stillwater as well, right? Well, he's a, he's a strong, strong man. He's a, a great leader of young people, and he values life a little bit more today than he did, you know, a year and a half ago. His grandchildren, a big part of his life, and things that I didn't see from him as a player, I see from him now. A couple of turnovers, one by each club to start us out of halftime. Chris Sandy runs the half-court offense for Fresno, and a flush for Melvin Eli. The last thing OSU needs is for him to take over this game in the second half. And Eddie Sutton, with that in mind, calls a very quick 30-second timeout. He called one timeout two minutes into the game, another one 45 seconds out of halftime. The coach is not a happy man right now. Okay. Okay. Small business software, five hundred dollars. Coming up. Small business seminar, three hundred dollars. Small business supplies, ninety dollars. Leaving work early to use your reward points, priceless. Now small business owners can earn reward points to use more places than ever before. Call 866-444-BONUS for details. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Pizza, the staple of the American male, oftentimes served dangerously hot. To cool it, they use an age-old technique known as the reverse blow. The Rolling Rock continues the cooling process. Rolling Rock beer, grab a rock. Dr. Joel's next stop, New Orleans. So how do your feet feel? 
That's pain. Well, this is our Dr. Scholl's massaging gel insole. It's like spring. The massaging wave system gives you more cushioning than regular gel ever could before. It relieves tension in your feet. It feels like it's massaging the foot. Dr. Scholl's, treat yourself right. Will she feel the same way if you lose your hair? Sure. She'll just feel it about somebody else. Relax. Rogaine. It's simple, safe, and clinically proven to regrow hair. Does she want you to use Rogaine? Better ask. First, the Subaru WRX won their hearts. Then, it won their minds. And now, it's won their award. The turbocharged all-wheel drive award-winning WRX from Subaru. That's the beauty of Subaru all-wheel drive. NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Well, got a defensive mistake made at the last time that for Oklahoma State, and that's why Eddie Sutton takes the time. Look at Shane Gatson right here, number 30. As his guy steps up, hold it right there. Forget about number 22 if you're Shane Gatson, number 30. The focal point of the offense is Melvin Eli. You cannot allow your guy to set a back pick to free Eli up and then forget about him. you got to step over, hedge, help, switch, whatever you got to do, but you cannot allow Eli to roll to the basket like that. I'm sure that's exactly what Eddie Sutton talked about in that timeout. Well, it takes something to get a coach to call a timeout. 40 seconds out of halftime, and that's what Eddie did. And here we go with Frederick John Zian. He knifes to the glass, and Frederick with eight on the day. He had four rebounds. He had six turnovers in the first half as Fresno's big men were really working him over. John zian has got good offense from the 17-foot mark and in. He's not a three-point threat. He's right on the verge of being one, but he knows his limitations. Eli's shot won't go. Cowboys get a break. Melvin had a good look there. There's a deflection, but it's into the hands of Shane Gatson. Back on top, Williams, and now Sanders. Back to Victor. Really pretty simple attack by Oklahoma State against this zone. Bob, three perimeter guys, the two inside people are playing a buddy game, high-low. They may screen for each other some. I'll tell you what really helped, Jimmy, was when Melvin Sanders hit those two threes in the first half. Not a real good look there. And Oklahoma State will get this rebound off the miss by the very impatient Chris Sandy. Two minutes out of halftime, it remains a five-point low-scoring game here in Fresno today. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'm Jerry Tarkanian, I tell my guys, unless you have a wide-open third-grade layup where you go in and jump up and lay it off the backboard, Melvin Eli better touch that basketball before anybody else shoots one up. Victor Williams, he had the taller Noel Felix get out on him. Jerry Tarkanian just to our left, watching his team bring it up the floor. Tark with 773 wins. Eddie Sutton, 697. 1,470 between them. And a combined 63 years of coaching experience in Division I. Pounding that ball inside. It'll be a foul on Frederick John Z, and that'll be his second. A lot of pregame meals between these two, huh? Yeah, a few. ABC Sports travels to Indy to bring you continuing coverage of the EA Sports Supercross Series. It's presented by Speed Stick. High flying motorcycle racing. Next on ABC. And yeah, we talked about Maurice Baker not on the floor day for the Cowboys, and we've touched on Chris Jeffries a little bit. When Jeffries and Eli are both on the floor together, then you've really got your hands full because Jeffries is probably the best passer to the post that Eli has on the floor with him. I mean, Jeffries is also one of those kind of kids that can go around and get you nine or ten boards a game on those misses. Well, here's maybe all folks need to know about Chris Jeffries. His game is compared to a young Scottie Pippen, who is one of the great complementary players of all time in the NBA. Jeffries hurt. Melvin Eli pretty good at the line today. Five out of six. Jeffries with knee cartilage. May get him back, Fresno May, in the next week or so. If okay. Oklahoma State hoping to get Mo Baker back in the next week or two. And if Fresno gets Jeffries back and gets him healthy and back in rhythm, then uh, you got to look at that club as they head into Tulsa for that WAC tournament as a team to stay away from, mainly because of number 33 in white. Aaron Hill getting the three, his first basket of the day. 
That's only his 11 three of the year in 42 attempts. And the Cowboys are back to within four. They just whittle away one of the points off that deficit. Out of the hands of Noel Felix, and here comes OSU. Williams up high, and not even close on the banker by Terrence Crawford. You gotta think Terrence had no idea where he was when he caught that ball. At the other end, the three rims out on Travis Demanby. And what Jerry Tarkanian told us hours ago, Oklahoma State at Fresno here today, Bob Carpenter alongside Jimmy Dykes, it's certainly true, he said, we can't make a shot. Broxy in trouble. There's a guy who's pretty much a one-touch passer, putting it on the floor, and Eddie Sutton's in his face about that turnover. Although they'll keep it with the possession arrow. Well, you talk about a club that wasn't great offensively all season long anyways, but then you take out Maurice Baker's 16 points and look down here. Six rebounds a ball game. I mean, he's the guy that can go get his own look late in the possession clock. He can jump up over the top of you and make plays. And look at this, another turnover. And Demanby loses it. Out of the hands of Melvin Sanders. That basketball looking like a grease pig sliding down the court here in downtown Fresno. Four minutes out of halftime, the crowd imploring their team to find what it was they had in the first eight or nine minutes of this game. You know, you look at that Fresno zone, it's not a true matchup, and it's not the true amoeba that Tark has played over the years. A little combination of both. A little different slides than what you normally see in a zone, and there's the numbers that are missing in that Bulldog lineup today. He is a terrific passer. He was knocking down three-point shots, right around 40% a game, and he's that torn meniscus is just kind of a day-to-day -day thing, but he's not even practicing right now. Timeout, Oklahoma State. Victor Williams couldn't get it in. Well, you got to come to the ball. I mean, somebody's hung up like that on the out-of-bounds spot. Forget the play you're supposed to run or what your initial assignment was. Four people better be flashing that basketball and bail your buddy out. Well, a five-second call. Back to Fresno it goes. Tough pass. Yeah, Noel Felix trying to slip that thing down. 15.47 to go. Coach oh. scratching his head. I feel your pain, Coach. <laughs> it hurts. Hey, come here. Now, what kind of corner is this? Five. 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 Oh, I could fit my base in here. Five? I've never heard of that car before. Meet the new Pontiac Five. Do they bowl in Italy? Do they bowl in Italy? It's the birthplace of bocce ball, but you're missing the point of the story. A mom and pop bowling ball bag manufacturer in Jersey, 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 is swamped with worldwide demand after their product is featured in an Italian fashion magazine. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I was seeing the bocce shirts. Let it go. So they ship via FedEx International Services. With time definite express delivery to over 210 countries, the bags hit the market. It's a classic macroeconomic love story. Supply meets demand. I like a nice love story. Staples gone down. Staples gone down. Alert. The stapler has gone down. The stapler has gone down. You need to fix this. It's not going to help. Push it. You're going to push it. Push it. I've got staples. When you don't have to worry about your networks and systems going down, what will you worry about? Unicenter. Reliable infrastructure software from Computer Associates. Lance, what's the story? Hey, hey, Dan, sorry. Thought everybody left the night. Can I get you an energy bar? How about some water? No, Dan, I'm okay. You good? Thanks. All right. Valentine Wednesday. Ah, the romance of a daughter's first date. Too bad Dana isn't here to see it. Where? Oh, my God. I'm making a double date for a new My Wife and Kids ABC Wednesday. <laughs> 
413 out of halftime. We knew it might not be pretty today with both teams lacking key players. And how about Tark on the sidelines here? He's a guy that has seen it all throughout his 30 plus years, but he still gets aggravated. The towel's still there. And, you know, these. Tark Kenny and Eddie Sutton both right now with their sons on their own staff. They might be thinking at this point, you know what? This might be the time to hands off the to hand the reins off. <laughs> time to turn check. over the family time business. To turn it huh? over. Danny, you got it for the rest of the half. Sean, you take it on the other end, and Jerry and I are going to go back and uh, eat peanuts and drink a diet coke and just watch this one. <laughs> There's Sean. There's Sean. <laughs> you know, both of them were point guards. Sean Sutton, almost 300 assists, a two-time honorable mention All Big Eight. It wasn't the Big 12 then. And Danny Tarkanian, the all-time UNLV leader in assists. So both of them know at least how to get their teams into the offense. But it is a crazy profession. I've had people come up to me and say, tell Jimmy Dykes, smartest thing he ever did was getting out of coaching. <laughs> now, is that because of the business or a reflection on you? Probably a reflection on me more than anything. <laughs> how about that the father-son connection today? you got Jim and Jim Herrick Jr. down at Georgia doing a great job. Bob and Pat Knight getting it put together in Lubbock. We'll see one again uh, tomorrow night. Charlie and Jay Spoonauer at UNLV. Yeah, and there's about six or seven other father-son coaching combos. Jeff Lebo is the only one in the country who's the head coach, and his dad is the assistant. The Alfords used to be like that, but Sam, Steve's dad, not a full-time assistant at Iowa. Travis demand beyond the steal. Chris Sandy. Now, this is the game that you just, uh, if you're a player, you think, you know what, this is not a thing of beauty. We're not executing, but we're just going to have to try to win it with grit and hustle, determination type play. Get doubled down on Melvin Eli that time. Noel Felix way short. Well, they know a lot about agriculture here in the San Joaquin Valley of California. And I'm sure there's a tractor around here. This is turning into a tractor pull. First team to put together a 6-0 run will probably win this thing. Victor Williams in the corner for Melvin Sanders. Right side, Aaron Hill, who hit a three recently. Frederick John Zian, good diagonal in the corner. Sanders shook loose, can't knock it in. And we've got a foul on Fresno on the defensive rebound. That'll be on Chris Sandy at 6-2. Maybe he had to do a little extra pushing and shoving down there to get that small from into position. Bob, that was really good offense out of Oklahoma State. They reversed the ball two or three times, got the zone out of alignment, flashed a guy high. He caught it without hesitation, fed it to the weak side of the floor. Miss. Andre Williams. Oh, my goodness. How can you miss that one? Mm, mm, mm. Won't go for Demanby. Travis Demanby has nine steals in this game, by the way. And on the drive by Victor Williams, a Fresno foul. And it looks like Chris Sandy again. Following our game today, time permitting, John Saunders and Digger Phelps will fill us in with the UBS Payne Weber post-game report. That's always subject to how long we're on the hard court here. We're in downtown Fresno, selling to Reno. The Bulldogs do not play on campus. The campus about five or six miles north of here. But the save mark still is under construction as we speak right now. They got some good other facilities up there. 2003 season for the Bulldogs. A community that loves not only their basketball team here, their football team had an outstanding year. Figured into the national title game, actually. Good college baseball program here. Here's Sandy on the drive. Takes a little bump as he and Victor Williams got bodies together. Melvin Eli to the baseline. Finally scores over there. First time today. That's only his third field goal of the day. He's four points away from the all-time scoring leadership here. But Victor Williams gives them something else to think about. A half dozen for Victor, his first three of the day. Williams is a kid that plays on emotion. At least that's when he's at his best. Second, second half of the Arkansas game, he led the charge. Comeback win over Texas Tech. Look at this. This is outstanding defense. You make him come to the baseline, you got two guys coming at the challenge with a hand in the face. And he still has the ability to jump up and make a shot over the top of you. Won't go from the corner by Damon Jackson. Loose ball, Chris Sandy right in front of us. And he knocks it over the baseline. And Oklahoma State now... 
27 minutes into this game, has a chance to tie it up. They once trailed 17-2. And a three puts them on top. John Zian, the pass deflected over the baseline. 22 to shoot when the Cowboys throw it in. Eddie Sutton, Glenn Cyprian, former UNLV assistant. Sean Sutton, Kyle Keller. And he's got a good, young, aggressive staff with him there. And they fought their way back, haven't they? By the normal passes against Fresno State, they're not there. That's a zone that you don't always see in practice. So you can't, you can't have habit passes and take for granted the ball reversal is going to be there. Three on two. It was Eli the trailer. Jackson out of control. Victor Williams fights hard for a rebound. Now the Cowboys have some numbers. Aaron Hill to tie, but he got fouled. Now one official called it goaltending. He's going to call it defensive goaltending and a foul. And this game is tied. And Oklahoma State will go to the line to try to take the lead. Take a look where the contact occurs. Ball's on its way down. The, the net, I think they got him for interfering with the net when the ball was above the cylinder. Because I don't see any contact with the basketball, but boom, yeah, right there. Grab, grab the rim and the net. Proper call. Hiram Fuller flying in there, interfering with that basket when the ball was above the cylinder. Chris Sandy's third consecutive foul. Oklahoma State incredibly on top. 34-33. Amazing that they were down 15 early. Down goes the three. Damon Jackson. He was a key to that early. Fresno lead with two early trays. And now the dogs back on top by two. Sanders on top. Victor Williams. Great rebound. Back on top from Ivan McFarland. And Williams misfires again. Hustles, out hustles everybody. I think Fresno thought that ball was going out of bounds. Aaron Hill can't tie it. And the loose ball for Chris Sandy. And Victor Williams just leans right into it. That'll be Victor's first. But we're getting a little intensity and a little emotion going in this game both ways. The under 12 minute timeout, 8.02 out of halftime. Oklahoma State battling back, Fresno State by two. We're back to Fresno after this message and a word from your local ABC station. You should read this. One of the U.S. bobsledders pulled a muscle. Looks like they'll need a sub. I must go. Any excuse is a good excuse to get to McDonald's for the all-new chin breast parmesan sandwich. Juicy all-white meat chicken smothered with tangy marinara sauce topped with melting mozzarella. Getting hungry? Hurry in. So where's the metal? The irresistible new chicken breast parmesan sandwich. Now on McDonald's new taste menu. McDonald's, a worldwide Olympic partner. Do you like the conditioner and shampoo in one? Well, yeah, you know, I do, but it does leave my hair a little oily and... and what is wrong with you, you idiot? This is not a toy. Crazy, Bobby. I, He's sensitive. He, what if he tore it off? I can't, I can't believe it. You've got some big ones, my friend. I didn't think you had it in you. Scratch here. There's a dent over here. Over the last 25 years, your locally owned Honda dealer has sold more Hondas than any other area dealer. The only full-line Honda dealer in the valley. Clausen Honda. Great service and great people. Clausen sales and service family have over 50 years total experience. This is a great time to make a deal on the car of your choice with new deliveries every week. Clausen Honda. The original right from the start. Bobby, 300 yards passing. You led the carnivores rolling tonight. No question about it. We executed the way we know we can execute. Jack was the bacon ultimate cheeseburger combo a factor. No question about it. That's our pregame meal. Bacon ultimate cheeseburger, a drink, and my new tastier fries. Plus, Jack jumbo sized the drink and fries for free. Fourth quarter, they're driving. The wild chimpanzees seem to disrupt their offense. No question about it. Chimps gave 110%. KFSMDT. For more information, go to abc30.com. 
John Saunders back in the studio here with our Wide World Sports Speed Pass update in the ACC. Virginia and Clemson. Elton Brown lines up for three from the baseline, buries it. And right now, Virginia with an eight point lead, ranked eight in the nation. That's intelligent Virginia club number eight. We can hear from them deep into March. One of those four ACC clubs right now ranked in the top 25, along with number one Duke, number three Maryland, and number 16 Wake Forest, who took a nod on the head yesterday from the Cincinnati Bearcats, who we both feel like is the best defensive team in the entire country, Cincinnati. When their offense is going, obviously it was yesterday. Steve Logan getting 30. Look out. Teams have combined seven of 24 here in the second half from the field. Mitchell on the right wing for Demanby. In the corner, Damon Jackson. He's had a hot day. 17 for Damon. The best game he's had since 19 at San Diego State. He had 22 against Gonzaga back in December. And what a big day for him. He's five out of eight from three-point range. He's a momentum shooter. And what I mean by that is sometimes he'll give Fresno State the momentum. Sometimes he'll give the other team the momentum. But two out of every three shots he takes throughout the season are from that three-point line. That's all you need to know about Jackson's game. Takes Oklahoma State quite a while to battle out of a corner of pressure there. The ball controlled there by Shane Gadsden momentarily. Aaron Hill on the wing. Gadsden looking to penetrate. Pop it just inside the elbow. And the rebound for Fresno's Noel Felix. Oklahoma State gets it right back. Bulldogs a little too impatient. John Zian can't make them pay, though. Eddie Jackson, the official, will blow the whistle over there, and it stays with Oklahoma State. Eddie Jackson, Bill Kennedy, Scott Thornley on our crew today as the Big 12 plays the whack here in Fresno. I like the effort that Ivan McFarland for Oklahoma State gives on those boards, Bob. You watch him. He's always active when that ball is above the rim. The only kid on the floor today, 23 in black, that has more offensive than defensive rebounds. He's going to be a good one next couple of years. A former partial qualifier. From the corner. Soft touch. It won't fall down for Jackson. And back up and in it goes. McFarland with a half dozen. And Oklahoma State back to within three. There's as that, if on cue. Yep, there's that offensive rebounding ability that he brings to you. Always around that basketball rebounds out of his area. <laughs> Talked to Sean Sutton a couple of months ago before the Cincinnati game. Sean calls him a rebounding fool. Well, he'd be a fool like that anytime. He just got another one, and Melvin Eli rejected him. That's three blocks for Eli today. Right side. Oh, Damon Jackson again. And this is with Melvin Eli out of the game. Bulldogs by six. You have Time out, Oklahoma State. Bob, you have to have an awareness in a ball game in transition defense who's hot and who's not. And right now, number four is shooting lights out. He's got a beautiful rhythm going right now. He's stepping into his shot with confidence. He's got at 6'4", the ability to shoot over smaller defenders like he did just there. But if you're Oklahoma State, you can't let him have wide open looks like that in transition. You've got to run with shooters and, again, force him to do something other than catch and shoot. He stepped onto this floor this afternoon in that locked and loaded position. Led his league in junior college a couple of years ago, or last year, rather, at 25 a game at Sequoias of Southern California. He was originally here and redshirted three years ago. Came back, and my, how he has come back. And this is a team that, as we mentioned earlier, has been shooting the three just brutally lately. No, not today. Jackson's a, a better athlete than you think because he's just designated as a shooter. He's also a seven-foot high jumper in high school. Clark told me before the ball game, he said, Jackson, he said, he can't buy a bucket right now. He's getting them on sale. Well, I was just saying, the, the ATM must have been open. Yeah. Shane Jackson with that basket. They are 7 of 17 from three-point range today. And a nice move there by the junior from Jamaica, New York, Shane Jackson. Mm. You know, I'm not so sure of the 
The shot selection has been perfect, but they've just missed a lot of open looks as well. Turnover, Fresno State, and a pass by Melvin Eli. Victor Williams, back to Gadsden. Straight Good ahead, luck. McFarland. Great look. Pass by Adam McFarland. And we've got a two-point game again with nine minutes to go. That's a secondary break basketball is what that was called. It wasn't out of the primary look, out wow. of the secondary look for the Cowboys. How about Ivan McFarland the last couple of minutes? He gets a charge there on Noel Felix after two or three offensive rebounds and two baskets. Here's a secondary break. You don't have the numbers to shoot a layup right off the bat, so you make one pass back out up top and then run your secondary break. That time they snuck the shooter along the baseline again from behind the defense. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, Melvin Eli can do a lot of things, but he can't see behind him. Exactly. John Zian, tough entry catch. Left side. Wow, what a move that was. And Shane Jackson gets a couple of big baskets, and the Cowboys are back even again with 8.30 to go. The Manby. Eli, double team, stopped cold as he tried to make the pass. Victor Williams running, banking, finishing, and he'll be shooting. Travis DeManby trying to stay with him, and Oklahoma State could lead by three. Look at Victor Williams. He pushes that ball like any true point guard understands. Push it, push it, push it till the defense stops me. If they don't stop you until you get to the front of the rim, Go ahead and finish the thing. Yeah, too many guys decide to dish it off yep. and they can take it all the way. Victor Williams, Kansas City, Kansas kid. Made the Big 12 all newcomer team. He played at Illinois State his freshman year. He's got the three-point play. Nine for Victor. And seven of those since halftime. Timeout, Time Fresno State. Oklahoma State's won a lot of games this year, Bob. Just what we're seeing. Again, they have trailed. It's amazing. They have trailed in every game they've played this year <laughs> at some point. Every week we honor a UBS Payne Weber Senior of the Week, and this week it's Jeff Boshi of the Jayhawks. North Dakota native, KU's all-time leader in three-point field goals, key part of the Jayhawks' rise to their number two national ranking. My partner's got him in the final four. Off the court, Jeff shops for presents for the needy during the holidays, and he's involved with Special Olympics. UBS Payne Weber donates $1,000 to a Senior of the Week scholarship fund in the name of Jayhawk senior Jeff Foshi. One thing we haven't mentioned, he plays with as much fire as anybody in college basketball. You know what? That's a Kansas club right now that's uh, dominating that Big 12 for a couple of reasons. They've got kids, Bob, that, that uh, they know I'm going to play hard for three or four minutes, then I'm going to get a rest because Roy Williams has depth. I love the fact that both Aaron Miles and Kirk Heinrich both average six assists a game from that guard spot. And again, they lead the country. How about this? You talk about shooting the ball poorly today. Kansas leads the country. They knock down 51% of their shots wow. a game. How about that? Not many do it. And no. that's been a Kansas Jayhawk trademark for years and years. A big three there for Chris Sandy. Gets this one back even. You know, Oklahoma State has not shot better than 50% from the field as a team the entire year of 2002. Kansas is doing it on an average. Another great look. Melvin Sanders, nobody is finding Ivan McFarland. How can a guy, 6'7", 220, disappear like that time after time? You know, the wrist run, a little buddy game on the inside, a little screen and flash to the basket type stuff. Eli fouled by Sanders. What's a buddy game? Well, it'd, it'd be what if you and I were playing inside together. I would come screen for you, free you up. I might flash high and try to go high low with you. More importantly, you should be coming to screen for me because I can catch and finish. You can't. That's a but. That's a real buddy game right there. And me carrying your luggage to the airport. That's another example of a buddy game. Yeah, but I can make those kind of shots. <laughs> So what do you play? Tenor sax. I play a bad guitar myself. Yeah? I mean bad in the bad sense. <laughs> How long do you enjoy it? You make a good living? Well, I do what I love. In the 43 countries. 43? Yeah. You want to take next year off? 
Bob. No, no, no. I know you, Bob. I know you're serious. Check this out. I'm going to lunch. Well, it's not like we didn't anticipate this. Listen, let me talk to your accountant about the tax implications. We'll go from there. That stock sector could have gone up or down hard. It was just too risky for you. Thanks for the heads up on that one. Sure. So how's your dad doing? Well, that's what I uh, really want to talk to you about. What would you do with the Pontiac Grand Am? Oh, yeah! We're going to drive as fast as we can to San Francisco. We're doing big things with the Pontiac Grand Am. Big things, baby. Three car park. That's three. That's six. How do we get the three car? It's like living a dream, baby. Yeah! Welcome to Vegas, baby. We on the strip, baby. Oh, yeah. Girls going wild at the ball. Yes. So what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Am? How you doing? Tell us at Pontiac.com. <laughs> It was named for Lois Lux, an obscure Austrian skater from the early 1900s. Hmm. Want expert answers whenever you need them? Come to Office Depot, where our people listen, understand, and help. How can I have fewer office machines? You can maximize space with an all in one. It'd be nice if everything was like that. Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. Proud sponsor of the 2002 U.S. Olympic team. NCAA Basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber on ABC Sports. Brought to you by UBS Payne Weber because life is a continuing story. And Pontiac. What would you do with some Pontiac excitement? That little bulldog just dying to crawl out on this floor and knock down a shot. This team down by two, 7.20 to go. And Oklahoma State getting some good baskets lit. Well, yeah, down along that baseline area. Kind of off of a, a steal in the bucket by Victor Williams. But look at that. They're flashing people from behind the defense, in front of the rim, and facing up and then making a play. It's exactly how you offset a good zone, especially when you're not, you're not shooting the ball well from the perimeter. Wow. Travis DeMenby has not scored today, and he just threw up a three point air ball. Fresno State out of sync. Now Eli dumps it to the wing, Damon Jackson. Where would they be without him? I, they'd be down 10 right now without Damon Jackson's 23. Good job of screening to free up Jackson on that weak side of the floor. Eli caught it and he knew as soon as I catch it, there's a lot of attention on me. Where's my guy spotted up on the high side? Boom. Catch, let it rip. If he has an ordinary game and his average is 10, Oklahoma State's way ahead. They get another three from Victor Williams. And we've got a good ball game all of a sudden with six and a half to go. It's been a grinder for about an hour and 15 minutes, but it's a lot better now. Over the top, Eli. John Z and trying to stand him up. Somebody's open on the back wing. It is Noel Felix. You know what, Melvin Sanders was really caught in a tough spot because he didn't get inside of that guy because he's afraid of the pass going out to Jackson. Eli spotted it and dropped it right inside to the screener. They're really working the weak side of that floor right now, Fresno State, those last two possessions. David Jackson with a career-high 23 today. John Zian for Gadsden. Left side, Melvin Sanders back on top to Shane. Sanders with the shot clock on five. The ball never got iron. And a rebound for Fresno State's team and Jackson. Sometimes the officials let little things go and just let the play continue. There's Eli. Right-handed jump hook. Too long with it. And a real aggressive rebound by Ivan McFarland. That was not the shot that you want from Melvin Eli. Now, he can make that jump hook when he's going towards the basket. That time he shot that thing running towards the free throw strike. Gets it. Little pull up. Along with it. Rebound for Sandy. Ivan McFarland has six rebounds for OSU today. Half of them in the offensive end, Look as it. usual. John Zian on Eli. Jackson he kicks it open. He finally misses one. John Zian was forced over the out-of-bounds line. It'll go back to Oklahoma State. That's a good call by the officials. Yep. 
Frederick had possession. They pushed him out. Here's what I'm talking about. They're attacking the weak side of the floor. Watch Eli Reed. Where's that weak side defender, Melvin Sanders? If he cheats out on the shooter, I'm going to drop it down low. There you see Sanders. He's just not coming into the picture. The reason why, he was more concerned about Damon Jackson than he was covering that low block. You can't have one guy trying to guard two when one of the two is shooting the ball as well as Damon Jackson is. Victor Williams feeling it now, and he missed the three, but John Zine gets the long back iron rebound. But you can see Victor Williams getting more comfortable shooting the ball as this game winds down to the final minutes. Well, they better concentrate on that short corner area where they've done a lot of damage. And Carlin lost it. Sandy running. Look at Victor Williams. How, what kind of a steal was that? He shovels for Sanders. I mean, that's just determination and athletic ability and the great quickness to go with it. That's as good an open court play as you'll ever see defensively. Yeah, wasn't it though? I mean, he didn't foul, just with speed and his 5'10 frame, just came up with that snatch. Look at this. Again, attack the short corner. That's like what they're doing. They just can't get it to drop. Yep, rebound. Noel Felix, he couldn't have a better look from over there. Nope. Sandy bounces off Williams. It is a foul this time. And the man begins to cheer from the crowd because he made a three-pointer after the whistle. I don't know, maybe that's the confidence basket that the young fella needs because he was one of the best shooters in this league last year from out there. 3.37 to go. The speed and quickness of Victor Williams. It's a 50-50 proposition here. What would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? Let's go, baby. We're on our way to Lime Rock. It's a weird Grand Prix racetrack around here. Where else would you take a Grand Prix except on a Grand Prix track? You see how you handle, baby. Did I tell you? It's so much fun. Get out of my way. This could so be our job. Wait a minute. Just drive around the three of us? Jo well, no. <laughs> so what would you do with the Pontiac Grand Prix? None of us have ever been to AC. Dinner, taxes, tell us at Pontiac.com. Elvis! <laughs> You ready? You want this? Go get it! It's gotta be dog chow. Dog chow is packed with everything your dog needs to build and rejuvenate strong muscles so he can keep on amazing you day after day. Purina Dog Chow brand. At BASF, we don't make the golf clubs. We make them more powerful. We don't make a lot of the products you buy. We make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF. Most people don't realize the, the, the toll that anchoring the show takes on the human body. You know, these guys really can't afford to miss a show. So they're always pressuring me, giving a, a boost. All right, do you want Fred or Barney? I'll take both. Give me some Dino, too. Come on. All right, all right. Come on, it can be pretty ugly. This is your esophagus. This is your ballpoint pen. This is the ninth time. Most of these guys have maybe 20, 30 good years. 40 tops. you got to keep the pen away from your mouth. What are we doing I, here? I know. If you're a double agent taken hostage, what's more important? He got Sydney. Your cover or your life? A new alias, ABC Tonight, 9, 8 Central. 50-50, 3.37 to go here in Fresno. Tonight at 8 Eastern, follow the trials and tribulations of a juvenile prison football team. They experience the freedom of playing ball, the anguish of being locked up, the season behind bars, part of the block on ESPN. After the season... Stay tuned to the block, the pardon, the interruption, sports entry 1980 and sidelines, L.A. Hoops, presented by Gatorade. Log on to ESPN.com for more. A busy Sunday night of ESPN's original entertainment. Bob Carpenter, Jimmy Dykes, Selland Arena, Fresno, California. 50-50 game. Oklahoma State was down 15 in the first nine minutes. Cowboys with only five turnovers in the second half. That's a, a big reason why they're at 50-50 right now. Melvin Eli forgot to catch the ball. So Parks, set play coming out of the timeout, goes for none. And the Cowboys now. You know, isn't this what we expected, though, Jimmy? 
two great coaches. Tight ball game last few minutes. Now, who's going to make the coaching decision that wins this game? Frederick John Zine. Will it be Tart? This team gets it back on the turnover. I think both coaches have put their clubs in position to win. The one thing they can't do is shoot or catch the ball. I mean, just simple plays like that. <laughs> That just, uh, again, that's the kind of plays, if you're a head coach, just makes you want to go sit on the park bench and start talking to the pigeons. Yeah. That's it right there. Is that what they mean by up in arms? I that think was, so. That was exactly it. His arms were up. <laughs> Eddie Sutton came up momentarily thereafter to call a timeout. And Oklahoma State now only has one timeout left. As you can see by our little graphic on the left, Fresno State has a couple. The Western Athletic Conference used to have 16 teams until the Mountain West broke away a couple of years ago. Some very good basketball schools remain. Louisiana Tech and Boise State are brand new members, and the Texters are being heard from right now. Well, Hawaii and Tulsa trying to position themselves for maybe in that large bit if things don't go well for that conference tournament, which is going to be on the home floor of the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. How big of an advantage is that? Well, last year, Hawaii went in there and beat everybody. Yeah, they sure did. Hey, well, there's, a, there's, there's a future pro in that league at SMU named Damon Hancock. And he can score in all kinds of areas. Get you 20, 25 points a night. Kid that doesn't have near the exposure that he should get because he can really play the game from SMU. Mike Dement does a nice job mm -hmm. down there in Dallas. Melvin Eli on the wing for the dangerous Damon Jackson. Felix for Demand B. Has he scored? Still has it. And way up there for the rebound, Damon Jackson. He's doing just about everything yep. for the Bulldogs today. There's some of that seven-foot high jump ability, wasn't it? Went in there at 6'4 and just rose up above everyone. UCLA and USC recruited this kid. That's the kind of athlete he was and still is. Coming out of Paris, California. I don't think Travis wants to shoot. Dumps it in, Felix on top, Sandy. Down goes the three, Chris Sandy. He's been a big addition to this club, and the Dogs lead by three. I mean, we haven't talked a lot about the fact that Tito Maddox never even put on a Bulldog uniform this year. That's why they've been playing shorthand at that point guard spot to begin with. They were 3-3 three and three without Melvin Eli when he set out because of receiving improper benefits. Shot clock at 9. Cowboys need a basket here. Gadsden driving. Eli rejects. Under a minute 40 to go. Chris Sandy, everybody in the bench telling him, take it back out. And everybody in the building telling him to take it back out. If you're a point guard, you got to keep your club in position to win a ball game for 40 minutes. That's the kind of decision you make right there. Felix! Felix! He looked like Felix the Cat, a little sneaky on that one. And with a minute 10 to go, Fresno by five. Who's going to make a play for OSU? Victor Williams looking for McFarland. Eli cut him off. Loose ball to Manby. One minute to go, and Oklahoma State turns it over for the 25th time today. Maurice Baker does a lot of things for this club, and that's another area. He's a solid ball handler, scorer, rebounder, and defender. Got he's one of those 15. Bob, he's one of those kids, Maurice Baker, that's a difference maker on his club. Sandy, right corner, tough shot, air ball. John Zian, Oklahoma State, a crucially needed stop. Sanders straight ahead, McFarland underneath, timeout, Oklahoma State, and a three point game. Boy, the Cowboys got exactly what they could have hoped for a miss at one end, an easy, quick basket at the other. I mean, four or five times in this ballgame, Fresno State has not ran with a purpose from offense to defense. You cannot allow a guy to just sneak behind you. Look at this. You got white jerseys out in front of you. Quit watching the ball and run to cover. As a result, they don't. Look at that. Boom. And in. You've just saved the attacking team about 10 seconds by playing defense like that. Didn't you, though? You saw guys running in transition watching the basketball. Forget about the basketball. Get back and protect that basket. They call it Bedlam in Oklahoma. Sooners coming into Gallagher Iba on Wednesday night. A couple of road games. The Texas swing. And Missouri will be tough. 
Melvin Watkins A&M Club been playing some teams tough. They gave Oklahoma a bit of a challenge yesterday. And here's what's left for Fresno State. Well, some tough ones. At Louisiana Tech, who knocked off the league leader last night at SMU. Talked about Damon Hancock there. Then Hawaii comes in to finish up the regular season. But again, Eddie Sutton's club right now, they're trying to win three out of the remaining six in Big 12 play and finish at 8-8. Eight and eight. If they do that, they're in that NCAA tournament. They'll have 21 wins if they do that. Yep. And a, and a great win now as we start looking back against Cincinnati to open the season up. Yep. Four-time National Coach of the Year. He's still one of the best X's and O guys on the bench during a game that you're going to find at this level. Out of Central High School, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Same place Billy Tubbs went to high school. And, of course, Jerry Tarkanian, he's a local guy here. He went to high school at San Joaquin Memorial. That's where Fresno's all-time leading scorer, Will Hooker, is coaching right now. Will's in the building today to honor Melvin Eli, but I don't think Melvin's going to get his 15. Jerry Tarkanian of Armenian descent and Fresno behind only Boston and Los Angeles, the third largest Armenian population in the country. He is adored here, and they'll like him a little more if the dogs can hold on and beat the Cowboys. How about Tarkanian? 36 years as a college head coach, he's never had a losing season. Right. He's had 29 20-win seasons. He won 212 games in JUCO that we don't even count. Yeah. Melvin Eli throws it in for Travis DeManby. McFarland hacks in the backcourt. And DeManby has not scored today, but he is an 86% free throw shooter. Problem is, Oklahoma State, very few team fouls. That's only six. Fresno has seven, or rather five. So the next will be OSU seven, and Fresno will shoot. And they'll let Damon Jackson take his 82% percentage to the line. 17 pounds. The Bulldogs are in the bonus. Jerry Tarpanian has not had a complete club yet, Bob, the entire season. The guy that's been the, you know, fighting the injury thing, the suspension of Maddox before the season ever began, and then Sandy's not eligible until the halfway point. Melvin and Eli had to sit out a few games because of improper benefits received, and this for a two-possession game. Now, Jeffries is injured. It's just difficult. I'm telling you, it's so difficult from a coaching standpoint to get on any kind of rhythm and get everybody on the same page. We don't have all the players. And Tart says, I don't mind icing my shooter now. He just made the first one to give me a two-possession lead. So Fresno will stop at their fourth timeout with 20.3 seconds to go. Interesting game, Jimmy. There's a difference in philosophy that gets talked about playing games like this. Some say, why would you want to step out of your conference if you're Eddie Sutton, go all the way to California and play a non-conference game on the 10th of February? Others will say the one-game break from the conference grind can be a good thing for a team, refresh them a bit, but obviously you hope to get the W in that situation. Well, Eddie Sutton, I'm sure, was looking at this as a chance uh, when the game was scheduled late last year this summer that this is a chance for a non-conference great quality win late in the season because again the expectations for Fresno State were really really high coming in they were preseason ranked top 25 talking about sweet 16 they have a great showing in that preseason NIT and this was a quality win on the schedule early that Eddie Sutton was hoping for Noel Felix the rebound Possession arrow belongs to Fresno. That was interesting. Melvin Sanders reached in to grab the ball. Then he looked at Eddie Jackson, pleading with the official to blow the whistle. It finally did. But the possession arrow, that's why we do our resets, folks, on these graphics. It belonged to the home team in the final 18 seconds. Well, if you don't step in on a missed free throw and take out the legs of the offensive team, you're asking for headaches. Exactly what happened to Oklahoma State on that last miss. Frederick John Zian colliding with Chris Sandy, who comes up lifting. I think Fred might have gotten his knee into Chris's leg here. Oh, oh, yeah, knee to the thigh. That'll hurt now, and it'll hurt really bad tomorrow. Chris Sandy, 13 points, a Brooklyn kid out of Newtown High School. Former runner-up New York City Player of the Year. Talked about all the Melvin Eli's done for this club today, Bob, and... He's a kid that there's a ton of talk late last year that 
He was going to leave and not uh, stick around for his remaining eligibility, but he made the right decision. You look at him and Jason Williams at Duke, Steve Logan at Cincinnati, Jared Jeffries at Indiana, Jason Garden at Arizona. They all stuck around. They did it for the right reasons. Fresno State's been an offensive rebound. This free throws their way to this game. Aaron Hill the foul. Oklahoma State unable to grab any missed free throws here in the last 10 seconds. And you've got four black jerseys trying to box off two white jerseys. But again, it's Eli's ability, Bob, to just make a play up over the top of you. It's happened two or three times in this ball game in different instances. That was another example. They didn't do a great job of boxing him off. It was an average job, and Eli got it because of his height. And if this one goes in, it's over for the Cowboys. It would be a three-possession game. They're still alive. Two threes could tie it, but they've got to have threes. Sanders going all the way. And why would you foul a guy beyond the three-point arc? Well, it's only a 16 foul at Fresno State. So Oklahoma State will take it out. Good call by Jerry Tarkany on the sidelines. We had his club down here in front of him for so long. He knew he had one to waste. Williams penetrated underneath. Taken away by Noel Felix, and that'll do it. The final score. They led big early. Oklahoma State battled back, and Fresno closes the deal. Fresno came in on a four-game losing streak, the first time ever in the history for Jerry Tartanian. He wasn't going to let it get to five. Great coaches get together, and for Jerry Tartanian, number 775.